Hey there everybody, happy Tuesday to you. I have a couple new creative journals to go into the Etsy store today. These are five by seven um, hardcover, kind of a softish hardcover going on here, you guys, because these are just a lighter bit of, uh, of box. I make these from food packaging. I don't remember exactly what this was, but it's not like a... Uh, it, it wasn't like a heavy cardboard, uh, so it does have a little bit of bend to it right here. And the same thing with this one. I do forget what kind of, uh, what kind of boxes I started out with. Uh, let's just talk about a creative journal. It's, it's a collection of elements, and it's intended to make creativity really fast and fun and exciting because your elements are curated. This 5x7 features a really pretty uh, yellow and uh, white spine right here. And the spine is, I think it's one and a half inches. Um, one and a half, one and a half inches. And she is, she's got quite a girth on her, my friend. She is like four and a half inches thick. We've got four signatures. We've got eight pockets. Fast, fun, exciting creativity. Your books are going to include images, cardstock. Might have old envelopes, new envelopes in it. Uh, and papers, vintage and new uh, photos or portrait type images just because sometimes we really do need that focal imagery and we need a portrait kind of imagery which will be vintage and new as well text pages handmade items embellishments bookmarks tags findings findings means basically buttons and brads um, fabric texture elements clusters of similar color size or texture um, shape, theme, anything else that can be bound into this book form. It's immersive and it's interactive. It's inspirational. It's meant to be taken apart, put to use, and then you can restore the items that you create from the elements in the book back into the pockets of the book. So you got some storage going on too. This is, if you've ever seen Flow Magazine or, mm, like Amazon has those clip art books and it's sort of like that. You know, there's, there's no rule that says, hey, I got to keep this just as it is. Nope, you can cut it apart. You can tear it apart. I think anything like this makes me think about painted, painty papers. Remember that Shannon Green concept? Um, and you can take this out of the book and just tear it apart and use a painty paper background to maybe finish this page. You have plenty of pages to work upon. You also have inspirational uh, words. This is a creative... Uh, kit. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Creative journals are completely handmade. They're, they're made, like I said, from food packaging. So I use cereal boxes or cracker boxes uh, to make most journals. The boxes are cleaned and I cut them down for bookmaking. I cover the boxes in fabric and cardstock and then I do a, a book plate in the front and a book plate in the back. And then I also cover the spine of the book as well on the inside. You can't really see it right here, but that has cardstock on it too. So that it kind of reinforces the spine and does make it look pretty. Even though you can't see it, it's got to look pretty, right? <laughs> um, I use like this brad or sometimes I'll use a button on the front and some stretchy string and this just makes a super cool closure. Uh, I do a wrap binding with embroidery floss and then beads are laced onto the floss. This is a really fun um, creative collection right here that this is a small ephemera bundle with a word or a phrase uh, to spark your imagination and get your artistic journey moving quickly. That is a touchstone, a Rosetta Stone, if you will, of these books. It's intended to help you bridge the gap between, hey, I want to do something, and actually putting your hands to the work and getting something done. Uh, you know, it's a, it's, um, a 
you can use this instead of getting things out of your stash. You can use this as a stash. Creative journals are comprom comprised of four signatures and they're filled with cardstock and papers and magazine images and text pages. Uh, the signatures are designed with eight pockets, so you have lots of pockets for storage. Even though these pockets are stuffed with creative fodder for you to, um, for you to design with. Um, they're curated. That's, that's the big thing. Curated to deliver a sense of quick creation fast 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 uh, so we talked about the creative kits let's see the creative kit right here should be about oh no creative kit right here these are just creative collections I just kind of put a whole lot of creative collections in here you'll see elements that go together. This would make just an absolutely stellar mixed media piece right here. Creative kits are in the small plastic bags. Tons of papers, magazine images, creative collection right here, creative collection right here. Remember that most of the items in here are repurposed, handmade, reclaimed, abandoned. It's the lonely stuff, right? <laughs> it's the stuff with no home. Um, and then I have rehomed things into, um, into these books. The majority of the contents are recycled. You might be wondering about how to use a creative journal. The first thing that you want to do is just kind of flip through it. You can allow your gaze to rest on colors and layers and textures and images that give you joy or interest you. Often as, you know, as we become spouses and parents and then caregivers and things like that, we totally forget the visual elements and words and colors and images, you know, that brought us joy. You know, we're, we're kind of wrapped up in our spouse and what is our spouse like and what do our kids like and what is my mom like and that sort of thing. And we forget about those images that, that really spark joy in our, in us as an innate creator. You can share the book. The book is meant to be taken apart, like I said, uh, because the wrap binding makes elements really easy to slip in or out. Let's find a middle here. So we can slip this out just like that. You can see how it's coming out. And it's okay. Push it and it will come all the way out. I just have this here and this here and that is not allowing it to um, fold out all the way. You can remove a whole signature and take that signature with you on a bus, train, Uber, whatever, uh, work, and just work on one signature, which is really nice. And then you can slip the signature back into the book. Mixed media, you can remove a magazine page and a vintage text page and embellishments from a pocket and create a mixed media piece. Clusters. You can fill another journal or book. A lot of times we have FWAP, fear of the white page, and we don't know how to get started. These books make it really, really, really easy to choose an image and just get going. I've been doing a lot of watercolor, and when I do watercolor, uh, these are so cool. This is 1952, um, little magazine called Quirk. Uh, I come to that white page and it's like, ah, I don't know what to do. Uh, fortunately, I have a great teacher. Her name is Diane Anton. And, you know, if you're in doubt, you can just put a blob of paint on the paper and I promise you, if you follow Diane, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You can turn that, um, you can turn that blob into a flower or a bird or um, anything else. It, it's just, it's kind of amazing what you can do with the blob. 
it's very uh, inspiring to break that page really, really, really fast. Okay, so we talked about filling another journal or another book. You've got uh, a creative collection right here. You can use this to, you know, if you're if you're doing like that journaling by Foss thing, you know, and you've got a composition book that you want to fill, this is a perfect way to do it. If you're working on mixed media pieces, there's no better reference than this journal. If you are working on a junk journal, you've got perfect elements to go in your junk journal. Uh, if you're doing glue booking, you've got perfect elements to do glue booking here. You can even use this as... A glue book right you can use this as a glue book take these elements and glue them right here again this is a creative collection anytime you see the paper clip this is a creative kit right here and these are positioned through the book if you are doing a vision board or a dream board, you can use the elements in your journal to create a vision board or, you know, do a mini vision board right in this book. You know, a lot of times when we're doing a vision board, there are several elements, you know, to a vision board or to a dream board that we want to incorporate. So even doing like mini uh many um, versions of um, dream boards or vision boards really does work. If you're doing a master board project, this is a great way to, uh, to do that big large collage that can be cut down into pieces and used whatever you want. This is a great resource to, um, if you wanna make gifts and cards. You've got cardstock, bookmarks, tags, uh, you can use embellishments, uh, papers, words, fibers, fabrics to create mixed media bookmarks and tags and cards to give to friends and family. You can incorporate some of these elements into Happy Mail. I do a Happy Mail for my patrons at the $5 level, and they get something from me every month. And that would be, you know, I'm... I'm <laughs> I do happy mail for a lot of people <laughs> and it's really nice to have a resource like this where I can pull out some ephemera, uh, some old pages and old papers and things like that and really be able to launch into that creative process. Uh, you can use your journal as storage for the creations that you make. It, this is a great way to simplify. A creative journal is a one-stop shop. To work with a journal you need scissors and a glue stick. And you don't need to crash your stash. Uh, you don't need to even purchase anything special. This is a minimalization project. It's a condensed collection of things to create with. Therefore, it's perfect for small spaces, you know, floating spaces, sitting on the sofa, in the bed, in a chair, at your kitchen table, at a desk, while you're on a Zoom meeting. Mm. Put this on the desk of the Zoom meeting. Don't let anybody see it, but you'll be having fun while you are Zooming. It's perfect for travel as you only need scissors and glue to get started on any project. It sits easily on a shelf. The spine is pretty, so you don't only have the, the journal as being useful and interactive. It's a really pretty decor item, too. This book is packed with words, images, phrases, quotes, and inspiration, so you can use those elements as writing prompts. It is yours, my friends. It's up to you what you do with a creative journal. You can choose to make it a resource for papers and ephemera for other projects, or a place to store new ephemera and completed pieces, or you can choose to make it into a diary, an art journal, a journal journal, or a collection of finished pieces. It is totally up to you. I think that you guys will enjoy this. I really appreciate all of you who have purchased these, they are $45 in the Etsy store, and shipping is free in the United States. So I think that um, they would make a fun gift for you or someone that you treasured and loved. They are a wonderful way to launch into creativity without crashing your stash or experiencing that delay between I want to create something, I don't know what to create, 
oh, I can take out all this stuff and lay it on my desk and make something out of it. Curation is the key, my friends. Curation is a really fun thing to experience. Yes, it takes a lot of time to curate. But you know what? It's worth it. Because if I can do anything to speed up your art journey, to uh, give you confidence, to give you power, to give you that edge in your creativity, by golly, it is worth the time that it takes to put these babies together. Thanks, guys, so much for hanging out with me. And I will talk to you soon. Hop on over to the Etsy store. The links are below. Thanks. Bye.